Well, we're here with the very familiar uh, face of Michael Liner, a former great, great Wallaby Rugby Union star, and of course now a well-known and familiar television sports pundit here in the UK and indeed elsewhere. And we're here because Michael will be running the London Marathon very soon for the Stroke Association. And there's a very, very good reason why you're doing this, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's not because I enjoy running marathons, that's for sure. And I've done one before and it was, it was good fun, but it was hard work as well. A great experience. I'm looking forward to that again. But um, about just, um, just over, well, just on a year ago, literally to the day when the marathon is, I was in Brisbane and I, I suffered a, a stroke um, and it was quite a, quite a severe and uh, strong one and I'm lucky to be here and lucky to have the ability to walk and talk and use my hands and that sort of thing. I've lost about 45% of my sight um, but I deal with that. I can't drive or ride my bike or anything like that so it was quite a, quite a big event in my life and something that I wasn't expecting to happen. In fact I didn't know much about stroke when, when it happened. Um, but I do now, and I do know that I've been very, very lucky, and uh, what I've always wanted to do um, once I recovered was trying to, to give something back, to try and help others, to, to try and spread the word about stroke and try and educate people on how, on how to deal with it, but also to help those that have suffered also and um, weren't quite as fortunate as me. And I've met some truly amazing people since I had my stroke, and they were... Um, they, you know, they, they have a lot of hardship. Their life has changed um, quite markedly, and to be able to help and, and raise money to, for a specific project, which is a, a back-to-work project. When you leave hospital, everybody assumes that that's the end of it. That you're all okay, but it's not. You have to actually get back into society and try and work, um, and, and families and friends and all that sort of thing have issues also in trying to help that. So. The Back to Work project is about that, it's about stroke victims getting some self-worth, getting out of the bed in the morning to go and do something, whatever that is, and so that's what we're raising money for. Now, for those who don't know, they'd say, Michael Liner, a, a presumably still pretty fit guy, was a, a very successful uh, sportsman, uh, not an old guy, how can he have a stroke? But it's not as simple as that, is it? No, it's not, and I was quite surprised also. Um, but it does happen in young people, children. Um, it can happen at any time. And uh, I think mine was just almost like a perfect storm. I, I split the back right artery here and that clotted and that causes a blockage of blood going to the brain and it kills the brain. And, um, and I was 48 at the time. And uh, yeah, it was a big, big shock. And I'm now much more aware of what happens and the symptoms and all that sort of thing. But it can happen to anybody, and I, you're right, I, I'm for a stroke, I'm, I'm pretty young, um, I'm pretty fit, um, there's a lot, my friends that I was having dinner with the night that it happened, they're old school friends, and out of the, out of the six of us, I, I probably would have come last in a poll to see who was going to have a stroke, but I did, and I was lucky I was with them because they were very good, but uh, it can happen to anybody at any time, and uh, it was an amazing event, one that sort of changed me quite markedly, but and it also made me um, very much more aware of what's important in life. And, and not to put too fine a point uh, on it, I mean, people seeing you now in this film will say, well, he looks fantastic, and OK, your vision's been impaired, and there's a few things that you can't do, but all in all, you're, you're looking in, in great shape, good enough to, to run a marathon, for goodness sake. But <laughs> let's not forget just how, how serious, how really serious, it was, I mean, for a while. You, you were in big trouble, weren't you? I was, yes, and, um, and when you say running the marathon, I think running might be a, a fairly loose term. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm going to complete it, let's put it like that. But, yeah, it was a year ago to the day that that happened, and I was extremely lucky because in the back right of the head here it was about the size of my fist or a, or a small grapefruit. That, and it, the only thing that it touched, the only wires that it touched, was my, my peripheral vision to the left. And the doctors still don't understand how that's all happened. They, they don't understand it. And um, I'm just one of the very, very lucky. And Yeah, it did, it did uh, affect my sight quite badly. And I can't see anything out to the left mm. here at all. Um, but, but, but you're alive. I am. And, and, and you're walking. and yeah, um, all that sort of thing. And physically, I was, you're pretty good, aren't you? Yes. And the whole way through, I was able to, 
I knew what was going on. Um, I could talk and I could use my hands and legs and all that sort of thing. So um, that helped a great deal. And being you know, reasonably fit and young, once I came out of intensive care, um, my recovery, physical recovery, was quite mm. quick. Now, uh, you spent all your career either having lumps being kicked out of you or kicking lumps out of, out of other people on the pitch. But um, I think we'll both agree, off the pitch, rugby, all sports for sure, but, but rugby particularly, they don't half get behind you, don't they, when, when you need a bit of support? I was um, overwhelmed with the support that um, I got from the rugby community around the world and, and outside that, but particularly the rugby community. And uh, I often say there mustn't have been much else on going on in the world because there was big, big news. And I remember looking out the window and of, the, of the hospital and there was TV crews down there and all that sort of thing. But one of the, one of the pluses of what happened to me was I was only supposed to be in Brisbane for three days, I ended up there for two months, but it was the, the chance to catch up with old friends. And a lot of those are rugby playing friends from back in the you know, early 80s right through to you know, up the present day. And there was almost a, a constant flow of them coming into the hospital and it was, um, it was quite, um, as I said, overwhelming and, and it was great to see them all again. And it was, but there's some guys I hadn't seen for 10 or 15 years and we'd sit down and literally after 30 seconds it's like you're back sort of in the dressing room or on tour or something like that and that immediate bond was there mm -hmm. and it was like we'd never been apart and I think rugby's pretty special in that <coughs> that regard. Yeah and I don't know this but I'm guessing uh, that I'm going to be writing saying that uh, yeah sure the Australian support old friends but you probably also I'm guessing got uh, letters emails I don't know messages sent to you from all corners of the world, all sort of rugby playing nations that uh, you would never have guessed you might have done. No, that's, that's right. And I mean, Isabella here, my wife, was overwhelmed with the support she got here and people ringing her. And, and uh, you know, I, I had letters and emails and whatever, whatever, whatever other modern communication you like to name, but um, from, you know, yeah, all corners of the globe, South Africa, America. Um, you know, and, and, and not only my generation of rugby players, but going back as well, you know, for the older I got, you know, guys that I'd never played against who are a lot older than me, getting letters from them. And it was overwhelming, but it was very nice. And uh, a good friend of mine in Australia said to me, uh, when he first came up to visit me from Sydney, he said, you're really lucky. And I said, I know how lucky. He said, no, 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 because you're physically here, but most people have to wait until they die to get people telling you about how nice you are and all that sort of thing. You're so lucky, you've already heard it. <laughs> so, yeah, he's right. Um, and it was a bit like that. Um, it, was, uh, uh, it, was, it, was, it was very, very special. And um, as I said, you know, there mustn't have been much else going on because it was pretty focused on me. And uh, there was a lot of interest. And, but just to have friends that I hadn't seen for a long time and, and new ones. But there'd be you know, letters arriving at the hospital that were just addressed to me. Um, Mr. Liner at, at Royal Brisbane Hospital, and no stamp, no nothing, and, 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 and he got here. Yeah, and uh, it was incredible. Well, Michael, one year on, thankfully, a you're here, and mm. b you're 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 lucid, or uh, as lucid as you've ever been, anyway. Um, <laughs> and and sense. and in general, although it's not perfect, it's 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 uh, it's a result, isn't it, after what happened? And now we've got uh, the small matter of just over twenty six miles. You, yes. You've done it before yeah. when you were completely fit. Um, you're looking forward to it, um, won't be easy obviously, no. what are you hoping to, to gain from it, just uh, from your own point of view but also the bigger message? Well, I just, um, you know, last time I did it I, I quite enjoyed it, it was hard but I enjoyed it and I expect the same this time, I, I, I don't expect to break any um, records or anything like that, my, my goal is solely to finish it on the same day. Um, now, just basically to finish it, there's, there's eight, uh, seven of others from Sky that are doing it with me, and it's for this back to work project that we've, we've created for the Stroke Association, and we're going to employ a number of people to do that. So that's the whole basis behind it, and uh, yeah, it should be, should be good fun, and uh, uh, I'll get there, I'll get there in the end. Okay, well you've, you've got here, which is the most important that's thing, right. and uh, Everybody in sports delighted. Everybody in sports very worried for yes. for a while, yes. as I suspect you were as well. But anyway, that's gone. Mm. So the very very best of luck Thank you. for the London Marathon, mm. um, and uh, 
we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks very much, Neil.